Global investors do need uh, reserve currencies to hang in there and have something they can uh, hold on to. Um, this is the anchor, this is the center of stability and uh, therefore they're always in, in need and looking for uh, opportunities whenever there's a crisis happening that they can go into a safe haven. There were many reserve currencies uh, in the last 2000 years, about 10 of them. And the most of them actually failed either because they got debased, so the inner value crumbled, or because the power behind actually faded, like uh, the Roman Empire or the British Empire. The US dollar is the first reserve currency which uh, is not backed by precious metals, and this opens a lot of opportunities. Uh, first of all, uh, the US can print as much uh, as many dollars as they want and can flood the market and can finance their debt uh, via the global capital market and this gives them a lot of economic power which they can also use for their military power. I think it's very hard to think of a non-US dollar world at this juncture so the next five to ten years will probably will remain in the current environment. The yuan, the Chinese currency, actually doesn't have this openness of the capital markets yet and uh, the euro is a very unusual, would be a very unusual reserve currency because uh, it creates a lot of trade surpluses so there's a natural scarcity. The money is always kind of absorbed by uh, the eurozone which is in, in net um, a surplus and therefore it actually doesn't provide the needed money for global markets. For investors, it's of utmost importance what's happening in the reserve currency. This is the anchor, this is the center of uh, the global financial system. And there's also a cyclical aspect to it. There's a huge flow whenever the US are easing their monetary policy, the world gets flooded with dollar and usually uh, vice versa when they tighten a capital mark or capital flows back into the US market and therefore it makes it a stressful experience, especially of emerging markets, to have a tightening cycle as we are in right now.